Okay, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Mr. We are learning about primes and composites. composites. What is a prime number? Someone who's not raising their hand. What is a prime number? It's like, it's like odd numbers that you can't, not just odd, but some even numbers that you can't be divided by. You can't be divided by what? By themselves, by factors. Mm, not clear enough. Anyone else? Yeah. Oh, come on. Either one. Okay, I'll go. Um, uh, numbers that can't be, that can only be divided by one and itself. That's really good. I'm very happy with that. Anyone else who has a similar definition? Um, it's a number that only has two factors. Well done. That is exactly how I define a prime number. A number that has exactly two factors, one and itself. Let's think about number two. What are the different ways you can write two? One times two and two times one, is that it? Yep. How many factors does two have? Two. One and two itself. How many factors does five have? One and five. How many is it? Two factors. So prime numbers only have two factors. One and itself. So have two factors. One and itself. Then, what is a composite number? Composite number is something that's not prime, but there's more to it. A number that can be divided by numbers um, other than self and one. Yes. How many factors would a composite number have? More than two. Exactly. It has to have more than two factors. Can't have just one factor. Pens down, please. Thank you. So, more than two factors. Okay? Example. Give me an example of a composite number, please. Nine. 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 What are the factors of nine? So how can we write nine? One times nine? Three. Three times three? So factors of nine are? One, three, and three. Yep. Is that more than two? Yes. Yes. So nine is a composite number. Now, is one... Now, think carefully before you answer. Is one prime number or is it a composite number? It's neither. Neither. Well done. Why? How many factors does one have? One. One. So prime numbers need to have exactly two factors. Composite numbers need to have more than two factors. How many factors does one have? One. So it's neither composite nor prime. And that's a common misconception students have. They think two is a prime number and one is a composite number. That's incorrect. Are we clear now? And that's why these definitions are important. Yes? So what is one? Neither. It's neither prime nor composite. It's just a special number, just like me. It's special. Zero is actually really special because you know when we do negative and positive numbers? What is zero? Is it positive or negative? Neither. So it's really special as well. And you know who gave you zero? An Indian mathematician. And I'm really proud of that. Maybe it was me in my past life. So yeah, zero is very special indeed. So it's... So basically zero is in the middle. Shh. Positive numbers are to the right of zero on the number line and negative numbers are on the left of zero on the number line. But zero itself is neutral, neither positive nor negative. It's, you know, balanced. Okay, now, can an even number be a prime number? Think carefully. Think. Yeah. I just said think. I didn't say say it out loud. Uh, can an even number be a prime number? Okay, is 2 a prime number? Yes. yes. Is 2 an even number? Yes. yes. So can an even number be a prime number? Yes. 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 So we've established it can be. Any number, any even number other than 2, can it be a prime number? No. 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 Let's see why. So let's come up with an even number. Uh, uh, is not a number. Uh, four. 4. 4 is a number. Let's find factors of 4. 4 times 1? 2 times 2. Times two. two. Won't all other even numbers, other than 2, will always have 2 as their factor? Yes. Yes. So they'll have at least that number itself, 1 and 2. Yes. So can it be prime? No. So what's the only even prime number? 2. All other even numbers will have 2 as a factor. So only number 2 is... Sorry, I'll write it in a better way. 2 is the only... Even what? Prime. Prime number. 
Are we all happy with that? Yes. We have no choice but to be happy. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We have to. I'm pretty sad now. Well, you have more homework tonight. Well, Are you happy now? I can't write homework. <laughs> <laughs> write 28 as a product of its primes. We have done this before. Just a quick revision. We do factor trees. Yes. Does that ring a bell? Yes. yes. It should. So 28. Two numbers that times together to give us 28. 14 and 2. 14 and 2, are we happy with that? Yes. yes. I am. Now, any of this a prime, these a prime number? Yes. We circle it. 14 a prime number? No. We keep going. Two numbers multiplied to give me 14. Uh, 7 times 2. 7 and 2. Two a prime number? Yes. Seven a prime number? Yes. Can I circle them? Yes. Then 28 can be written as a product of these numbers that I have circled. So that is 2 times 2 times 7. So I've written 28 as a product of its prime factors. Is 28 a prime number? No. Oh, it has more than two factors. Can we write it in index notation? Yes. Yes, we can. Any questions about prime numbers? Is 7 a prime number? Um, Too late. Is 7 a prime number? Yes. Is 6 a prime number? No. Like I'm pointing, so that means that person answers. I thought that was obvious. Is 7 a prime number? Yeah. yeah. I didn't ask you. <laughs> 11, prime or not? Prime. Prime. 1, prime or not? Prime or not? I didn't say composite. Oh, you need oh. to pay attention. Is that very good? Is one prime? No. Yes, is it composite? No. What is it? Special. It's special. It's special. <laughs> Alright, now to me. Wait, I wonder if it's special. Yes. Now, to make your lives easier, we are going to use a method, you know, a systematic way to find all the prime numbers between 1 and 100. And it's actually based on common sense. So you should all have a sheet. Yes, do not do anything yet. Just listen. Just listen. Listen. Number one has already been crossed out. Can you think of a reason why? Hmm. Yes. It's not out of turn. Exactly. So we all know one is not a prime or a composite number. Right now, is two the first prime number you know of? No. Yes. So circle the number two, please. In silence, we don't need to talk. Now, 2 is a prime number, but would multiples of 2 be a prime or no? no? No, they'll have a factor of 2, right? So can we cross out all multiples of 2? I didn't ask you, I'm just asking. Pens down. Can we cross out all the multiples of 2? Yes. yes, so count in 2, starting from 2. Cross out 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, so on. Okay, we don't have time to finish all of it now, but does that make sense? Yes. yes. Listening. Pens down. Once you have crossed out all the multiples of 2, you move on to the next number. Is 3 a prime number? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You'll again circle it and then you'll cross out any multiples of 6 that haven't been already crossed out. Does that make sense? Yeah. And by doing so, you'll eventually get rid of all composite numbers and you'll be left with prime, prime numbers. How easy is that? Maths made easy, yes? Get on with the list and find all the prime numbers between 1 and 100. Thank you.